What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Like the video because I'm pretty sure you're going to like this video. It is a transformation haircut. Uh, my client has not got a haircut and I want to say two to three months. Uh, but he was getting it chopped off before he left out of town for spring break. So stay tuned. We got a high ball taper tutorial. We're knocking off a lot of hair, as you can see from the before and after. Um, just like the video. helps out the algorithm of the channel. I appreciate everybody who has been supporting the channel. We are almost to 2,200 subscribers. We just hit 2K uh, two months ago. So we're, you know, we're steadily moving along. And, and that is the ideal um, position that we want to be in with the channel is moving forward. So that's what we're doing right now. And once again, like I said, I appreciate everybody's support. Truly, truly appreciate it. But lock in. Let's get to this tutorial. Look. I just flipped the switch. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you are not subscribed to this channel, if you're new here, I am Jay Blends. We do haircut tutorials, vlogs, product reviews, etc., etc. Anything having to do with barber stuff, that is this channel here. But in today's video, as you can see here, we do have a barber tutorial that we will be doing. My man is throwing. His hair is long. He's looking like he's a skater boy. No Avril Lavigne. We up in here better transform this man's life. But as you can see, that's the before we got going there. So what I'm gonna do first is I am going to saturate the hair with water, AKA I'm gonna use my water spray and get the hair wet. And we're gonna go ahead and comb it down and directionalize this hair the way that it wants to naturally lay. Now, the way you will find how it naturally wants to lay is just by, it's not gonna be laying out of place. It's not gonna be trying to move in a different area than what you comb it. When you comb it down the way it needs to lay, it'll lay there naturally and fall right where it needs to lay. Now, what I'm doing here is a little bit of shear work on the top. We're gonna take a good chunk of hair off the top. So I'm taking off about maybe an inch and a half. I'm starting with a center guideline right down the head. So we're gonna start at the, uh, the cowlick, the crown area of his head. And we're gonna work our way to the front hairline and uh, just by doing this, we're going to go ahead and maintain some, some balance to this cut. Um, and by doing this right here, we're establishing a, uh, a length that we are going to use all around the head. So you can see here, I'm chopping it down, taking my time, going nice and slow, nice and easy, just to make sure that we get a very, very um, good cut all the way around head, around the head, a good even cut, and, and just making sure that we keep everything uh, symmetrical so you can see here I grabbed a little bit of the hair from the center pulled it off towards me on the left side of the head to create another guide or use that guideline to cut um, another panel of hair on that side with the shears and I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side of the head uh, on the right side of the head and after we do all three uh, quadrants not quadrants I won't even say quadrants is four. I have to do all three sections of what we just did. We're gonna go ahead and cross check by working away from the front hairline to the back. And basically, I'm just gonna work my way down the center and then down the right side and the left side and tie everything together. And when you cross check, you will see little peaks and valleys poking out um, from the guideline that you actually established. And those things that are poking out is what you're going to cut and uh, make sure that we get this cut nice and even. So you can see here I am uh, making a, you know, staying at a 180 degree from the head um, and making sure that we keep it even. So as the head falls down on the round side of, of the, uh, the ridge, I'm working with that ridge, keeping the hair directed 180 from the head. So that way we can get the hair nice and even. Now after we do that, I am going to take a number two guard, lever is closed, and what I'm doing is I'm just basically debulking uh, all the way around the head, scooping the hair into the, uh, the, the clipper guard there using my comb, and just making sure that we have some nice evenness to this cut. Um, this is just basically clearing out the canvas, making sure the canvas is nice and clean, so that way we can start fading up um eventually uh with our tapers so we're going to be doing a high taper in the front and a taper on the nape area uh, just to get this this guy back in the game uh, he's going on he was going on a vacation for spring break and that's what this haircut was for uh, he was headed out to fort worth with his family uh, for spring break so getting them cleaned up so you can go ahead on down to the big city uh, but right here i am doing uh, i'm using an or unorthodox way of clip over comb I'm keeping that comb flush to the side of the head and going up with my two guard and just blending it, 
making sure everything lays down nice and smooth, working my way around that right side of the head. And uh, I'm gonna go over it, you know, back over it with a number two open, just to tie the clip over comb to the number two guard we had. And just by doing this, you know, we're, we're making everything simple. Everything is just easy, two guard around the head, clip over comb with the two guard on, uh, number two guard lever play to tie everything together. Now what we do to the right side of the head, we're gonna go ahead and do to the left side of the head as well, make sure, making sure that we maintain some symmetry here. Now, as you can see here, we have the nape taper about to commence. I am using the Babyliss Gold FX with the 245 power clip just to lay down an initial zero line, uh, our initial bald line to take all this stuff out right here. Once I clear the, once I make this line with the uh, the gold FX, I will come back and I will clear it up with the um, the Andis Slimline GTXs. So just make make sure that you have a system in order before you attack every haircut. I mean, pretty much if you have a system in place, you can attack every haircut with the same system. So, but just make sure that you find a system that works for you. So for my system, I have uh, made that bald line and then we're gonna come back to the nape tape and get this uh, no guard lever open to make our initial panel of hair to fade into. And once I have established a panel of hair, I close that lever up, open it slightly fade up, open it slightly fade up until that line is completely uh, blended in that panel of hair. So you can see you have that lever all the way open now. And we're just, you know, I'll find little areas here and there that I need to detail and make sure that, you know, I'm just lever playing to get those little dark spots, those spots that are more dense than the other, and just to clear that area out. Now, what I have on there is the, uh, the half guard on the JRL 2020 clippers. The lever is open, and we're just making another panel of hair to fade into. Now after I use this half guard with the lever open, I will close the lever, open it slightly uh, to, I would say like a quarter of the way, open the lever a quarter of the way, and then open the lever half the way, open the lever three quarters of the way, and then open the lever all the way to fade out that, that line that we see there. Now you can see by doing this, we will get that line out exactly how we want it. Um, there will be a little bit of dark areas in your fade sometimes if you know if you are not the type to detail well you do the haircut some people like to detail at the very end of the haircut me personally i like to detail while i'm actually doing the haircut so you can see here the blend is coming in nice and buttery nice and smooth and that is exactly what we are looking for now you can see here i'm lever playing you know i'm opening and closing the lever and different areas of that uh, that taper right there, that little panel of hair that we're fading, uh, just to make sure that we get this area detailed, making making sure we get little areas that are darker than the other, where hair is protruding more than the, the area around it. And I'm just using the corners of my blade and detailing uh, with that half guard. Now, since the last guard we had was the half guard, now we are going to go up in the guard system to our number one guard. Uh, lever was open for that to create a panel of hair to fade into now once that lever uh, Then once that panel is created we close the lever all the way open it a quarter of the way fade up Open it halfway fade up open it three quarters of the way fade up until the lever is completely open And we have this area completely blended now a lot of this may seem monotonous. It may seem like you know uh, so tedious you know but when you start to see that blend to get coming together when you, you're standing behind the chair and you see that fade coming together nice and blurry it just motivates you to want to kill every haircut uh, just the same way and I was really looking forward to doing this haircut for the fact being that he had so much hair to work with so for me I like very very drastic uh, changes in appearance I like transformation haircuts I like seeing you know a bunch of hair get chopped off and just seeing how you can transform somebody's image with simply with some clippers some guards and you know a brush and some shears you know it's amazing what you can do with a pair of clippers what how much you could change a person's appearance so that is like the greatest motivation for me behind the chair but back into the haircut we got that one and a half guard on there lever play blending out above the one guard that we just used and uh you know we had the two guard on that side so what we're doing here 
is Lever playing with the two guard now after we use that one and a half guard and just tying any dark spots in together to the two guard that we initially used to debulk. So you want to remember where you're at in your haircut. So you got to remember at the beginning of the haircut, we use number two guard to debulk. So we're just going to use that number two guard lever plate to just blend into the rest of the haircut at the end of the taper. Now I'm cleaning this area up here, the edge up portion on the nape area with the Slimline GTX. It's got the 245 power clip on there. You can see all the 245 gear in the back. Um, I, I love 245 gear. It, it makes the job easier, makes the job fun. Um, and I heard Basio say one time, if you are not, you know, in love with the craft like you used to be, you know, you need to start, you know, buying, you know, buying tools, make it interesting, make it fun, make it different. You know, a lot of times everything seems so monotonous because you're still using the same clippers that you had for like the past five years. So make sure that you are making your job entertaining, making sure your job is fun. You know, this is an art. This is not some nine to five behind a desk. You know, we're meeting new people every single day. We are doing different types of haircuts every single day. So just, you know, make sure that you are trying your best to, you know, stay, stay in love with the game. Um, this, this game is constantly changing, constantly evolving and just, you know, give it your all. But uh, right here we have some uh, shear over comb. I'm using those texturizing shears, those blending shears to make sure that we get little dark spots knocked out. Um, I'm just doing this all the way around the, the back of the head because on this uh, these tapers that I'm doing, I do the back taper, then I'll do a side taper, then I'll do the other side taper, and then I'll tie in the uh, top end to the sides, and then we'll attack the edge up after that. Now right here, I am making my initial bald line using my GTXs, my Slimline GTXs, and uh, I'm, I'm making like a rainbow shape to the taper, and this is a, a going to be a very, um, spread out taper it's going to be you're going to we're going to be able to see a lot of contrast in this taper so underneath that slimline gtx i did use the andis profile shaver to uh bald out underneath and then after that i am going to use the gold fx to make my first panel of hair to fade into i have that uh lever the lever was open all the way it created a panel and then now i'm lever playing inside that panel of hair area that we created and i'm just lever playing and getting little dark spots knocked out now after this i do have the half guard on there and same exact steps we used on the nape tape we are using on the side taper as well lever open all the way to create a panel of hair open close the lever all the way open it to a quarter fade up open it halfway fade up open it to three quarters of the way fade up until that lever is completely open and then if you see any areas that need to be um, faded out a little bit more detailed, make sure you knock that out. And uh, as you can see here on my left hand, I do have a baby brush that I do use for my clients to, to brush the hair off. And uh, that baby brush I did get at Sally's. The JRL Clippers I got from Fort Worth Barber Supply. Um, you can follow them at FW Barber Supply. And they are located in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, the owner of Fort Worth Barber Supply. He does own the barbershop, District Barbershop in Fort Worth as well. I believe they have like two locations right now working on a third if I'm not mistaken. But go check them out, go follow them on Instagram. So you can see there, uh, we just got done with the one guard lever open and the one guard lever play. And now we're back in there with the one and a half guard lever play. I'm sorry, uh, one and a half guard lever open to create a panel of hair. Once we create that panel of hair, we will close that lever back up, start, uh, knocking out that panel right there opening the lever a little bit fading up open the lever a little bit fading up until it's completely knocked out now you guessed it you already know what's next after the one and a half guard and this this lever uh, i'm sorry in this guard system and that's going to be our two guard but i got you right here with the one guard uh we're detailing with that number one guard real quick before we get to that two guard but the two guard is going to be the ending guard that we use in the system uh to tie in the, the, that side hair to the top hair so I do have that number two guard on, lever is open, and we are creating a panel of hair to fade into. I'm well, not really creating a panel of hair, but fading into that uh, that bulk of the hair right there alongside the ridge. And I am just lever playing basically because we already used the two guard here earlier by debulking. So lever playing here to make sure that we tie this area nice, tied in nice and smooth. And I am gonna revert back to that clipper over comb technique just to get it as smooth as possible, to get it as even as possible, as blended, as faded as possible, 
to make sure that we have a good flow to the haircut. And you want to make sure that you do have a good flow to every haircut. You want every haircut to, to be its absolute best. Our clients are walking the advertisement and that's something that I always keep in the back of my mind. Uh, but right now we're attacking that uh, area behind the ear, edging it up using the Slimline GTXs. Um, these are hitters, man. A, a lot of people doubt the Slimline GTX. A lot of people doubt the Andy Slimline LY. But in my opinion, these are some of the best trimmers out there. Um, in, in my opinion, I'd have to say it is it is the best in my, in my eyes. I know everybody talk about these skeletons and I have yet to actually use them for an extended period of time. I did use them for one haircut. I wasn't too impressed, but I did just recently use them again um, from one of my uh, coworkers. He has the gold FX skeleton uh, with the uh, 2.0 graphite blade on there and it was a hidden. So, you know, I, I am fixing to get the Los Cutted edition of the Babyliss uh, trimmers so I'm excited to get that in unbox that for y'all and show you how that's working uh, with my arsenal but um yeah you know but in my eyes right now GTX is the uh, the, the top of the trimmer food chain um, I know a lot of people will say otherwise but that's your opinion and I respect it you know everybody is is able to have their own opinion in this game and anything in life um, I feel like too many people feel like they're right and that's it but you know everybody everybody has their opinion about everything you know just like everybody has a favorite football team basketball team etc so don't bash nobody for thinking different let them you know let them you know have their best of what they think it is you know um let, let them let them live let them be you let yourself live let you be don't be too uh uh what's the word don't be too you know bothered or offended by you know somebody thinking different from you but uh, besides that we are here with the number two guard lever is open i'm going over the top of the hair and i uh, just laying this hair down he has very thick hair he is so I, i'm thinning this out so it lays down um, and it just flows with the rest of the haircut so you can see here we have the hair laying down nice and flat and i'm going to attack this front edge of portion i did lay some hair spritz down um, by Beyond the Zone, that is the brand of the hair spritz that I use, Beyond the Zone, the scruncher. So if you're looking uh, for what type of hairspray that was, that's what it's called. Works very great, smells like grapes. Every client that sits in my chair loves the smell of that, that hairspray. So uh, if you if you want to cop it, once again, that was Beyond the Zone, the scruncher. So you can see here the GTX are eating through that that bulk of the hair right there his hair is really thick in the front along that edge line at that edge up area and it is eating through this hair um, so I mean I can't really say much more about the GTX I already left a review I give you guys my review on every single video that I do but I love these trimmers but right here we're knocking out the rest of this haircut here and um, just tying everything together tying in the edge up and uh, the edge up in my opinion is the the most important part of the haircut in my opinion and that is because it ties everything together it, it, it makes the blend pop you know it, it just adds some sharpness and crispness to your haircut but right now we're using the 245 triple cartridge razor uh, this is the most exposed position i am using some derby blades that you can get from sally's those the ones in the green box i know everybody has a different you know opinion about different blades as well um but in my opinion these do the job they aren't the best i won't say in my opinion i think the derby premium blades are the best they feel a lot thinner than uh these regular derby blades in the green box and they i feel like they slice a little bit closer but there's the haircut you see the tapers nice and blurry the haircut it has some flow we we transformed this man's look we brought him back you know he, he's not looking homeless and he's ready to go on vacay he's ready to go down to fort worth and have himself a good time um, but shout out to my client for letting me film this video this is a tutorial if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button smash that like button and until next time god bless